Hey guys, welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video. Today I'm going to be explaining probably the best method to make money in this game. Now, it's not a super easy process. It's definitely a longer process. However, you will actually be able to make hundreds of millions of credits in this game using this method. Now, it's like I said, a long process. You're not going to be with 100 million credits tomorrow or anything it might even take a month to two months but it's something i did in forza horizon 3 and i did it very very late and i was regretful that i didn't know about it early on when the game came out so i'm going to kind of dive into it i've seen a couple people actually ask me on some of my videos why they can't sell their cars on the auction house for as much as other people can so if you for example have a lamborghini centenario that you throw up you can probably only put it up for like 2.53 million credits and some people can actually put theirs up for 20 million credits so i'm going to explain exactly how to do that and the whole step-by-step -step process might be all over the place but if you stay until the very end i promise you will understand exactly how to do it so as you can see i have a lamborghini huracan here on the screen and it's completely it's upgraded but visually it is completely stock so before i jump into that i'm actually going to go over to the auction house and give you an example so i'm going to search for cars go to advance and i'm going to put the max buyout and the minimum buyout to 20 million credits now there's not a single car in this game that's worth 20 million credits every single one on the auto show is 10 million or under but there are some exclusive cars that you can get in this game and you can sell them for 20 million or even Forza edition cards if they are very, very rare. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna search for a 20 minute, 20 million max buyout and a 20 million minimum buyout to see the most expensive cars on the auction house. So right now there's actually two. Perfect example, Centenario, I was just explaining that. That's up for 20 million credits as a buyout. And this one is up for 20 million credits as a bio. So this is the same guy. I actually talked to this guy the other day. And he had five GT3 RSs, the brand new one that he threw out for 20 million. And all of them sold because it is an exclusive car. So this guy has multi-millions, like hundreds of millions of credits already in, in, in this game. It's been maybe like two or three weeks. But it's because he jumped on the opportunity early in the game. So... How he ended up doing that is he became a legendary painter or a legendary tuner. So I've been working on it a little bit and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Basically what you have to do, doesn't matter what car you're in. I would do many, many different cars, which I've been doing, but you go down to your designs and paints. So we have this stock paint and I don't want that on the car. So there's a couple different things here. Number one is my creative hub and that shows you all your stats of how many downloads and everything you get. But the main idea behind what we're doing right now, and I'll say it again in a couple minutes, is to get 50,000 between downloads, uses, and likes on your design. So I'm gonna create a design really quickly. You can either do it in create vinyl group, you can create a wrap or whatever you want, which is basically a flat surface where you have no curves or anything that's messing up with your design. And you can put shapes, you can put manufacturer, logos or whatever you want so that's not the way i do it i actually go all the way up to the top here give me one second up to apply vinyls and decals and this is where i mess around with things so i've already done it i've gone into add vinyl shapes and everything like that and made my own so once i actually make my own and i save it to my vinyl groups what i end up doing when i go onto a car is i click load a vinyl group so all my saved ones that I've saved are here. There's some camo ones and of course my two logos. So this is the one I actually made for Forza Horizon 4 for all my cars. So I end up clicking this. I load the vinyl group onto every single uh, side of the car. Basically I'm going for like a forged carbon slash camo look. It's very simple. A lot of people like camo or the stealthy look to cars. So that's why I do it because it will get a lot of traction. So once I do it to one side, just to make it easy, you can go to every single side and do that process I just did. Or if you want this on the entire car, you just cut and insert on every single side. So that's very simple. Of course, that doesn't honestly look amazing like it doesn't look bad but it doesn't look amazing so we will end up changing the color of the car but i also put some of my logos so i'll put like my m77 logo uh, and i'll load that and i'll put it on the bottom of the car right here just next to the skirt we'll leave that at 100 kind of spin it just to line it up a little bit better with the skirt and put it directly in the center or the corner 
So I'll do that on the right side as well. So I load it again on the right side and I go over here and put it down. Just for time's sake, I'm not going to spin it. So there we go. Rear bumper. I might put my YouTube channel, which is Strats Gaming. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want just quickly doing it, if you guys want a quicker way to make money, you don't want to go through this whole process, I'll link down below one of the fastest methods I've found to get to like 8 million. And also at the end of this video, it will be linked as well. But I'll put my Strats Gaming logo on the back there. And then basically I'll save to current car. Now, most of the time I actually go into the paint car first before I put a wrap or a design on it. But this way I'm doing it just backwards. It doesn't really matter which way you go. But when we exit the painting mode, we have to actually save and share the design. And I'll go directly into that afterwards. But let's jump into paint car. Now paint the body. Basically, like I said, I'm going for like a forged carbon slash camo look so i'm gonna make it stealthy i can either do like a black which looks really really good but what i found works best with this wrap is actually doing a carbon fiber wrap on the entire car it makes it look really really good and kind of gives it that extra little carbon uh feeling and look to it so that's the one i ended up going with i put brass like gold um rims on it which makes it look good and of course black windows so that just transformed the entire car made it look so much better and now i want to share this for you guys so i just made a mistake by pushing um save because i didn't actually push share to the design catalog so i'm gonna actually redo that go back into it and change it a little bit just give me one second the loading takes a while so we'll go back into apply vinyls i'll just quickly apply that again so when you back out of either the paint the car or uh, back out of the vinyls basically if you're completely done with the car it's going to ask you three different questions save to current car save to design catalog or exit without saving so you want to save to design catalog so basically you're going to click that you're going to click new file i have a whole bunch made as you can see it's just because I'm looking for people to download it so we can get up to that 50,000 mark of downloads uses and likes but I'll go over that in a second as well. Basically, you click that. Um, you can name it whatever, Lamborghini Huracan. Or for me, I know a lot of people search just for camo. So I'm going to type in camo. There's a couple other different things you want to do. It's going to pop up in one second, an options menu. And basically, it asks for like what sort of car it is. So the make is the Lamborghini. We'll put the model to Huracan. And then you can mess around with the keywords if you want. Um, there's racing, realistic, um, just different things like that. Replica, we, real world. So I put real world because camo's in the real world. And realistic. In description, I also put camo. Now, just do whatever you want. Like if it's a red design, like a red wrap on the car and you don't know what to call it, just call it red or, or whatever. Whatever you think people would search most that your design would pop up. That's what you want to put as the title. So once you've created it, it's actually going to be down here in your designs and you can click it and unshare it and share it again, or you can load it onto your car if you decide to go with a different wrap. And of course you can rename it if you decide to do that as well. But basically it's there and you can use it, but everyone else can as well. So what we do when we get a car, we want to paint it, but sometimes we don't want to do it ourselves, especially if we're looking for like a really detailed car. Like, for example, for the Huracan, uh, Daily Driven Exotics YouTube channel known for his Huracan and his crazy raps. It's very hard to make a car look like that, but some people are actually very talented on here and can do it, as you can see at the bottom here, actually. Here it is right here. I couldn't do that personally, but this guy did it. So all I would have to do is click his thing and it would get downloaded. And if you look at the left hand side of the screen, over 10,000 people downloaded this already. So that's very good for him. That's a very well known um, rap for a Huracan, which is good. But again, you can do any car. Um, another YouTuber, Don Jowan Song, he has 36,000 downloads. And that's basically what you want. He's well over Legendary Painter. He's had way more than 50,000 between all of his wraps. But basically, if you wanted to search for his, if it didn't pop up here, because these are the main ones, the, the most popular ones. But if you wanted to search for mine, for example, I just posted it. Or Don Jowan Songs, if his didn't come here, then you go search, which is the select button. 
and then you go down to creator and you type in who you're looking for so m77 forza racing and if you want to down you don't have to download any of mine um some people like them some people don't it's no big deal if you guys want to add me as a friend this is my gamer take as well so go ahead and do that but basically you're going to search for it you don't have to enter anything else it'll just do current car and then all my lamborghini huracan or you know porsche or mclaren whatever car you're in will pop up so you can actually just click whatever one you want i do have quite a few here so if i wanted this one i just click it and it automatically downloads to your car so that would count as one download for me which would put me one step closer to that fifty thousand uh number mark of downloads uses and likes now it's a combined total so i can have 15 15 and 20 or whatever it is but basically that's what you want to do and i've done it for many cars as you can see i've done it for um, some porsches audis uh, subarus bmw basically the more you do the more likely it is that you're going to get downloads now some of them don't have any downloads at all which is fine i'll just go in and retune it or whatever um or reshare it sorry so it pops up again at the front of the list of camos but for example, if you want to see where you are, and like I said before, it's my creative hub. That's where all your stats are. So I pulled this up. I have 61 designs shared and number of downloads is 169. So I'm very, very far away from that 50,000 mark. But again, it's uh, downloads, uses, and likes. So I'm probably closer to 200 to 250 out of that 50,000. But the more that I share, the better I am and the more closer i get to becoming a legendary painter um which means basically i can put my cars up like there's so many different benefits to being a legendary painter i believe you can do the exact same thing with the tuning as well if you are very good with tuning cars then just tune your cars and same thing people download your tune and you become one step closer to a legendary tuner or a legendary painter which means you can sell your cars on the auction house with your designs or your tunes for that much more and i believe we can sell it all the way up to 20 million i think that's the highest amount but if you get exclusive cars in the game and you're a legendary painter and the only way to get them those cars is through the auction house you can throw them up for 20 million and you'll be making 20 million it's insane so i hope i was kind of clear on this video on how to actually do it again i did it in forza horizon 3 and i started making hundreds of millions of credits you've seen videos on it and if you haven't you can go back and watch some of the videos i've made on it but yeah it's just a simple way probably one of the best ways to make a crazy amount of money in this game and you want to get on it now because it might take a month or two or three months to get that fifty thousand mark so Again, guys, if I miss anything, if I was kind of confusing, leave a question down in the comments below. I will respond to almost every single one of you. As long as it's a positive comment, then I'll respond. Um, but yeah, just try the, your best to make as many designs. It doesn't have to be anything amazing, but just make it so people would want to download it. So I actually really like the look of this one. It looks actually really good. I'd consider doing it in real life, but obviously have a professional make it and design it, but it looks really, really good. But remember, add me as a friend. Other than that, this video is over. I think I cover basically everything. If you did like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And until next time, I'm out. I'll see you on the next one.